Hi, today we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to create a pop-up calendar from a text box using the Ajax control kit in ASP.NET. Uh, the example that it's going to be based on is the pop-up control demonstration shown on the ASP.NET website in the demonstration samples for the Ajax control toolkit as seen here. Notice if I, in this example, if I click in the text box, a calendar pops up and then whatever date I click on in the calendar is populated in the text box. So let's see how to do this in Visual Studio. Now in Visual Studio I've opened a new website and I've already preloaded my Ajax control toolkit uh, on the left hand side as you can see here. Uh, hopefully you've done that. And what we're going to do is just basically drag some controls from the control toolkit and from some standard uh, ASP.NET controls onto the page and add some settings that will allow us to make this functionality and it's surprisingly easy. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, since we're going to be using Ajax in this page, is we need to drag a script manager onto the page to tell it that we're going to use Ajax. Now there's a standard script manager that ships with the Ajax extensions in Visual Studio 2008, the script manager here. However, since we're using the control toolkit, I recommend using the toolkit script manager that ships with the toolkit itself. It helps with a little bit in debugging, especially if you have different versions of the toolkit and uh, the .NET framework. So I'm going to drag the toolkit script manager over, drop it on the page, and you'll notice that this gets uh, shows the toolkit on the page and at the same time the bin folder in your app, uh, application folder for your web app gets populated with all the different uh, source code for the different controls. Now that we've got the script manager, uh, first thing we're going to drag onto the page is a text box and this will be the text box that initiates the pop-up. So we'll put that on the page and I'm just going to add a little bit of text next to it, enter date, so our user knows what it's for. And then I'm going to click back on the text box and you'll notice that a little arrow comes up, the smart tag. If I click on that, the option add extender shows up and we're going to add the pop-up control extender. So we click on that, the wizard pops up for choosing the extender. And we'll scroll down until we find the pop-up control extender. And this you'll notice will be named text box one pop-up control extender. So it's extending our first text box on the page and hit OK. Once that's been added, we can go look actually in the source view and you'll see that we've got our text box, text box one, and we've got our pop-up control extender that's been added to the text box. And you know that it's pointed at that text box because the target control is text box one. So that means whenever we click inside this text box, this pop-up control extender will be initiated. Okay, now we need to tell the pop-up control extender what to pop up. So we want it to run when someone clicks in the text box, but we need to tell it what content to pop up on the page. And what we're going to do is put our stuff inside of a panel and tell the pop-up control extender to show that panel whenever the text box is clicked. So I'm just going to drag a standard panel onto the page, put it underneath the uh, text box, and I'm going to adjust the width property of this panel so that it fits a little better on the page. So just in the properties window, width, I'm going to make it 200 pixels, 200 px and you'll see that that changes the size of the panel. Now I'm going to tell, go back into source view and I'm going to see my panel here, panel 1. I just need to tell the pop-up control extender that I want this panel to be the thing that pops up. So to do that, I'm click inside of here and I can either type the text uh, the right inside of uh, the pop-up control extender or I can use the properties window on the right hand side. So I'm going to scroll down to properties window and find pop-up control ID here I just want to type in panel 1 and you'll notice that that gets put into the properties up here so this is saying this pop-up control extender is going to pop up panel 1. And then I'm also going to change the position I'm going to change it to be bottom and you'll notice that that also gets populated in the properties and that just means that when this panel does pop up we want it to be at the bottom underneath the text box. Okay so if I go back to the design view now what I'm going to do is I need to put in my calendar within this panel so that it pops up the calendar. But before I do that, I'm going to add one other control. I'm going to add a standard update panel from the Ajax extensions. Now you may ask, why do we need an update panel inside of our panel? 
Well, since we want to do this asynchronously, meaning every time we click on the calendar to select a date, we want it to post back asynchronously to the server without reloading the whole page, we want to have the calendar inside of an update panel. This means that that little calendar will post back without affecting the rest of the page, and basically use Ajax to do that kind of on the back end for us, uh, so that it doesn't interrupt anything else on the page. So we drag an update panel in to allow us to do an asynchronous post back when clicking inside the calendar. Now if I look inside the source view, you should see a panel and then an update panel within the panel. Now I want to put the calendar inside the update panel. So to do that, remember with update panels, you first have to have this content template tag. And if you're using Visual Studio and typing this in, uh, your IntelliSense should come up as you start to type in content. And then we're just going to drag the calendar right there inside the content template tag. So I'm just going to drag the calendar right inside of there. So now I've got a panel. Inside that panel is an update panel. And inside that update panel is a calendar. And so when I click inside this calendar, the update panel will make that happen asynchronously. The panel is being controlled by our pop-up control extender. And the pop-up control extender is an extension of our text box. So when I click in the text box, what should happen is my calendar should pop up and I should be able to click around inside of it without causing a reload of the page. Now this will run as is. So if I hit the play button or the start debugging or F5, it'll create a page and you'll see our text box with enter date. And when I click in the calendar, our calendar, or I'm sorry, click in the text box, our calendar pops up and it allows me to click around within the calendar, but you'll notice that the date isn't being populated in the text box yet. And the reason for that is that we need to create an event handler for the selection changed event of the calendar, meaning every time someone clicks on this calendar, we want to have a piece of code run that says take whatever date was selected and put it inside the text box. So doing this is actually really easy also. We'll go back into Visual Studio. I'll stop the debugging. And we'll go back to the design view. Now to create the event handler for the calendar, selection changed event, we just need to double click anywhere in the calendar and that will open our code behind Visual Basic file. You could be using C Sharp or another language here, but we're using Visual Basic today. So it opens up a subroutine called calendar selection changed and that handles the event of the selection change in the calendar. So basically anytime anyone clicks a different date inside the calendar, this little subroutine will run and whatever code we put here will be executed. So we want to write the code that will take the value from the calendar and put it inside the text box. Now to do that, we need to find the commit method for the uh, pop-up control extender. So we'll type in the name of our pop-up control extender, which is text box one and then IntelliSense should show you what you've already got on the page. Textbox1 underscore pop-up control extender and dot commit and that's the first thing that pops up and now we want to have it commit to the text box whatever date was selected from the calendar. So within these parentheses we want to type in calendar1 or whatever you called your calendar control dot selected date and parentheses. So what this is doing is saying we want to commit to the text box anything that was selected inside calendar one. So the selected date in calendar one is then committed to the text box from the pop-up control extender. Okay, so that's it there. We save this and we run this code again. And the example pops up. Now when I click inside the text box, you will see the calendar pop up and whatever date I click on in the text box, it populates, or I'm sorry, whatever date I click on in the calendar, populates the text box. So there you go. Surprisingly simple uh, solution for creating a pop-up calendar for your website. You could use this in a number of different uh, applications. Every travel website you go to to book a flight or a hotel has something similar running on their website. Of course you can go in and change the styles and other things for the calendar to make it look nice, uh, but that's the basic functionality that's running uh, to make this work. Hope that was helpful and happy programming ASP.NET.